Welcome to you know. 14 billion years ago and we have no idea what happened before it. And we're still expanding over the past 50 years Voyager 1 embarked on an incredible journey through space offering us remarkable insights and discoveries recently Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards Earth capturing what can be considered Earth's very first selfie in that picture our planet appeared as a small pale blue dot initially seeming unbelievable scientists carefully analyzed the data and confirmed its authenticity. Now Voyager 1 has transmitted more puzzling information validated by the renowned scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson the spacecraft. Detected 500 celestial objects moving through space this discovery could potentially revolutionize our understanding of space exploration let's delve into the profound implications of Voyager's latest message and how it might reshape our view of the cosmos several decades ago a pivotal moment in history unfolded when two remarkable spacecraft embarked on a journey into Space marking the onset of the space exploration ERA this occurred in 1965 when Gary Flandro a bright mind at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory faced a significant challenge devising the best route for a space probe to reach the distant gas. Giants in our solar system Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune with just a simple pencil Flandro made a significant discovery he realized that in the late 1970s. An early 1980s these four massive planets would align in a rare celestial dance presenting a unique Cosmic opportunity this alignment meant that a spacecraft passing by each of these planets could harness their gravitational pull to gain speed akin to being propelled by an invisible force Flandro calculations unveiled an astonishing possibility what would have been a 30-year journey from Earth to Neptune could now be completed in just 12 years thanks to these gravity assists however there was a caveat this planetary alignment occurred only once every 176 years is NASA couldn't afford to miss this extraordinary chance, so they promptly launched two identical spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 in the summer of 1977 their mission to capitalize on this rare cosmic alignment little did they know that these sibling explorers would set records and redefine the landscape of space missions now more than 45 years. Since their launch Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue to thrive transmitting groundbreaking data from the far reaches of our solar system on a daily basis despite their age these. Spacecraft perform exceptionally well yet a recent surprising development has emerged Voyager 1 now over 140. 5 billion miles away from Earth has detected 500 unidentified objects. As it traverses space these objects are entirely new and unfamiliar to us defying our previous expectations one possible. Explanation for this unexpected discovery could be the aging components of the spacecraft Voyager 1 commenced its journey in. 1977 meaning its electronic systems are over 45 years old under normal circumstances one might expect such old hardware to exhibit signs of wear and tear or even fail however voyager 1 has proven remarkably resilient thanks in part to its dual redundant computer systems meaning it has two sets of computer components this redundancy ensures that the spacecraft can switch between systems when needed extending their lifespan to keep voyager 1's computer systems running efficiently engineers have devised various strategies to conserve and optimize power the spacecraft is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators maintaining power resources is crucial for the continued success of its mission Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 both employ simplified systems with hardwired logic for their instruments. They also feature six onboard computers that operate together in a distributed system providing redundancy and allowing them to withstand the test of time nuclear power sources on these spacecraft gradually lose about 4 watts of energy each year due to the slow decay. Of the plutonium they use this natural decay process generates heat which is then efficiently converted into electricity. To sustain the spacecraft's operations one intriguing aspect of managing this power involves shutting down non-essential systems. Engineers meticulously identify and power down components or subsystems that aren't crucial for the main mission objectives for instance. They intentionally deactivate heaters connected to certain scientific instruments originally intended to. Maintain instruments at specific temperatures for optimal performance significantly reducing power consumption and extending the spacecraft's lifespan however managing the spacecraft poses a challenge in extremely cold temperatures in space. Scientists must ensure that certain lines stay warm typically around 2 degrees as freezing could impede the spacecraft's ability to accurately point toward Earth Voyager 2 bows a backup power source designed as a safety measure enabling it to operate one more scientific instrument until 2026. As the power on the Voyager probes gradually diminishes conserving energy becomes increasingly crucial impacting various systems. Beyond just the scientific instruments as the power on the Voyager probes gradually decreases one critical system affected is 
the spacecraft's heating mechanism generating heat consumes a significant amount of energy, and as power diminishes more heaters may need to be deactivated to sustain the remaining instruments these probes are. Equipped with small thrusters essential for their proper operation proper orienting the spacecraft so their antennas face Earth is crucial for receiving and transmitting data the spacecraft carry a fuel tank for these thrusters, which adjust the spacecraft's orientation with brief bursts if the fuel lines freeze engineers could lose control of the spacecraft rendering the probes inoperative additionally these thrusters may experience wear and breakdowns over time in 2017 summer Voyager 1s. Thrusters had to work harder to maintain orientation toward Earth engineers addressed this by activating secondary thrusters that had remained unused for 37 years now the primary thrusters on Voyager 2 are exhibiting signs of wear prompting engineers to plan the utilization of backup thrusters to ensure continued control. Though these backup thrusters have not been inactive for as long as Voyager 1s having been idle since Voyager 1's encounter with Neptune in 1989 approximately 30 years of inactivity NASA believes there are still several more years of operational capability left in these remarkable spacecraft. This extend operational life is crucial because the Voyager probes offer unique insights into the region of space they currently explore hopefully the day when the voyages are powered. Down remains distant however. When the decision to power down non-essential systems is made it's not taken lightly it involves a careful assessment of the trade-offs between saving power and achieving the mission scientific objectives engineers collaborate closely with scientists to evaluate the impact of turning off specific systems on the quality and availability of scientific data. The goal is to strike a balance that conserves as much power as possible while keeping essential functions. Running to collect valuable cosmic information engineers also employ adaptive power management strategies to respond to changing environmental conditions as Voyager 1 moves farther from the sun receiving less solar energy the spacecraft adjusts how it utilizes power to optimize its resources over the years technical. Advancements in power management have enhanced the Voyager probe's power systems these in hank include improved power distribution, battery charging methods and advances in power regulation and control these meticulous power management strategies have extended Voyager 1's operational life enabling it to continue exploring space and transmitting critical data. Despite the mission's initial plan for just five years the dedication of scientists and engineers has sustained the Voyager mission in deep space however it's essential to acknowledge that unexpected events can still occur in the vastness of outer space 1. Such event involved Voyager 1 detecting 500 objects a highly unusual occurrence termed as an anomaly. Despite causing a slight communication delay Voyager 1 continued to respond to commands from mission control with its antenna. Directed towards Earth strangely the anomaly did not activate the spacecraft's on-board fault protection systems designed to put it in a safe mode when irregularities are detected after a thorough investigation. The anomaly was traced back to an outdated control subsystem unintentionally transmitting data. Through through a non-functional onboard computer leading to data corruption confirmation of this discovery took time. Due to the significant communication delays caused by Voyager 1's immense distance from Earth eventually redirecting telemetry data, to the fully functional computer system was successful in resolving the anomaly investigating. This anomaly posed challenges due to the lengthy communication delays caused by Voyager 1's immense distance from Earth. After its remarkable interstellar journey the spacecraft now resides. Approximately 14.6 billion miles from our planet with radio signals taking a considerable amount of time to travel to. And from it this significant delay in communication presented a significant challenge for the mission team requiring careful, planning cautious execution of commands and patience. To wait for feedback or confirmation from Voyager 1 the unique communication process involved in communicating with Voyager 1 substantially extends the timeline for diagnosing and troubleshooting issues. Each message sent to the spacecraft though subject to the strengths of time holds the potential to unravel space's mysteries and deepen our cosmic understanding when communicating with Voyager 1 NASA's Deep Space Network team transmits commands at the incredible speed of light the DSN comprises a vast network of massive radio antennas strategically positioned worldwide to establish crucial communication links with spacecraft exploring our solar system and beyond it plays a pivotal role in enabling two-way communication between Earth and deep space missions and conducts radar and radio astronomy observations to enhance our knowledge of the universe this international network collaborates with various space agencies including the Soviet Chinese Indian and Japanese deep space networks as well as the European Space Agency's tracking system by working together these agencies create a unified 
and cooperative effort to explore and investigate the mysteries of space the DSN consists of. Three deep space communication facilities located approximately 120 degrees apart Goldstone in California's Mojave Desert Madrid in Spain and CBER in Australia this strategic positioning ensures continuous coverage and observation of spacecraft as the Earth rotates making the DSN the world's largest and most advanced scientific telecommunication system operating on the principles of radio wave transmission the DSN communicates with spacecraft using its enormous antennas these antennas are responsible for sending and receiving radio waves creating a vital link between Earth and the distant probes when transmitting data. From the the spacecraft to Earth Deep Space Network Channel 18 is typically used employing frequencies of either 23 GHz or 84 GHz conversely. When sending signals from Earth to Voyager 1 a frequency of 21 GHz is used despite this remarkable speed of communication the signal still takes about 22 hours to reach the spacecraft this means that after sending a command the mission team must patiently wait for 22 hours before receiving any confirmation or response from Voyager 1. This time delay poses unique challenges demanding precise planning and execution of commands any errors or issues can result in additional delays and complications particularly when investigating anomalies like the one experienced by Voyager 1 the time delay prolongs the diagnostic and troubleshooting processes requiring careful crafting of commands to account for the expected response time. Therefore each time a message is received it adds valuable information rather than being a mere waste of time furthermore the time delay limits. Real-time control and interaction with Voyager 1 unlike missions within our solar system where the time delay is relatively small interstellar distances introduce a substantial lag in communication this makes it impractical to conduct instantaneous conversations or make swift adjustments based on real-time observations regarding anomaly resolution the Mission team ultimately fixed the issue at its source by shutting down the faulty computer within Voyager 1 however. The most intriguing aspect of this situation remains the mysterious cause behind why the altitude and articulation control subsystem began routing telemetry data to the incorrect computer while it is suspected that the OX received a faulty command from another onboard computer the exact root cause of this anomaly has yet to be conclusively determined possible explanations for the anomaly lie within the vast realm of space several plausible explanations for the anomalies encountered during Voyager 1's journey include cosmic radiation extreme temperature fluctuations and the potential for micrometeoroid impacts cosmic radiation consisting of high energy particles originating from distant stars and various celestial sources fills the vast space between galaxies within this particle spectrum there are protons and cosmic rays that can penetrate spacecraft structures and Potentially disrupt the proper functioning of electronic components the intense radiation in space can cause electrical disturbances distort data signals and even lead to memory errors or data corruption in such a challenging environment en it's conceivable that voyagers on board computers may become confused leading to the transmission of inaccurate data spacecraft also face extreme temperatures in the unforgiving vacuum of space voyager 1 located in the outer reaches of our solar system Encounters frigid conditions with temperatures dropping as low as 200 degrees Celsius these significant temperature fluctuations can greatly affect the performance of electronic components potentially causing unexpected behaviors or errors in data transmission furthermore spacecraft must contend with micrometeoroids tiny dust particles or fragments from comets and asteroids. Despite their small size these micrometeoroids travel through space at remarkable velocities capable of causing damage upon impact even. A small collision with a delicate electronic component can disrupt its functionality or produce interference in data transmission. While these are plausible explanations for the anomaly there's another hypothesis that has intrigued the scientific community it goes beyond technical glitches and suggests the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement the idea is that an exceptionally advanced extraterrestrial civilization possessing technology far beyond our own might have encountered Voyager. Given Voyager's remote distances from Earth and its relentless quest for data it's not entirely implausible to consider the involvement of extraterrestrial entities in the anomalies experienced by the spacecraft however such claims remain speculative and require further investigation and evidence to substantiate overall the communication process with Voyager 1 through the deep space network represents a remarkable feat of human ingenuity and technological prowess despite the challenges posed by interstellar distances and the complexities of space exploration scientists and engineers continue to push the boundaries of our cosmic understanding.
unraveling the mysteries of the Universe 1 transmission at a time the idea that Voyager 1 might have entered an area occupied by distant beings beyond our detection is intriguing. Instead of a malfunction it could have been intentionally taken over leading to the anomalous behavior in this context what we initially perceived as a malfunction could actually be an extraordinary discovery however confirming such an event poses challenges given our current technological and scientific limitations understanding how Voyager works holds the key to unraveling this enigma the spacecraft relies on NASA's deep space network to establish vital connections with Earth within this network are three ground stations on Earth each equipped with a formidable 37M diameter high-gain crane. An antenna this specialized antenna plays a pivotal role in enabling Voyager 1 to transmit and receive radio waves, particularly the ones directed towards Earth Voyager 1 typically uses deep space. Network Channel 18 to transmit essential data back to Earth the frequencies it operates on are typically 23 GHz or 84 GHz for data transmission signals from Earth to Voyager are transmitted at 21 GHz in situations where direct communication with Earth is momentarily unattainable Voyager 1 is equipped with a digital tape recorder with the capacity to store approximately 67 MB of data this data can be sent when communication is re-established and scientists can analyze the data recorded. During the period of malfunction, which could hold the key to determining whether extraterrestrial involvement such as contact with aliens is a plausible explanation for the anomaly. But that's not all Voyager 1 carries a suite of instruments designed to gather exceptionally detailed information these instruments are. Integral components of the attitude and articulation control subsystem responsible for maintaining the spacecraft stability and ensuring its radio antenna remains accurately oriented. Towards Earth among these instruments is the cosmic ray subsystem which measures the intensity and properties of cosmic rays providing valuable data about the cosmic environment beyond our sun's influence working alongside this is the magnetometer a precision instrument dedicated to the meticulous analysis of the strength and orientation of magnetic fields encountered in the vast expanse of space Voyager 1's tools help us understand space. Better one such tool the photopolarimeter looks at light and helps us learn about space dust. And other phenomena in space another tool the plasma science instrument helps us study charged particles called plasma providing insights into their density temperature and velocity all the voyager one's instruments work together to help us understand space better they have contributed to numerous discoveries including finding the heliopause the border between our sun sun's wind and the rest of space and discovering active volcanoes on jupiter's moon i io voyager one's data has enriched our understanding of our solar system and beyond moreover Voyager 1's recent detection of 500 unknown objects. Adds to its legacy of discovery scientists are closely examining this data to understand its significance it's an exciting prospect that Voyager 1 might have found something alien. And further analysis will provide insights into this intriguing discovery in summary Voyager 1's journey continues to captivate and inspire as its discoveries have expanded. Our understanding of the cosmos and its recent detection adds another layer of mystery to its mission. As we await further findings we eagerly anticipate the next chapter in Voyager 1's extraordinary voyage of exploration. Thanks for watching.